Good afternoon, everybody. This is Kevin Kraft here and down in the Columbia Second Swing Tour Van. Today we're going to talk about irons. So with irons, we've got a large number of different segments of irons these days. Used to be you had a blade and then you had a, maybe a for, you know, game improvement club and then maybe a super game improvement club. But things have morphed over the years and now we've actually got, I've got six different models just within the Titleist line uh, that we can talk about in terms of, you know, who are they for, what kind of performance you're going to expect, and uh, and what you can, you know, what you can like. So uh, I'm going to kind of run through these real quick, talk about a little bit about, uh, you know, who's going to be playing these and what the characteristics are, um, and then, uh, you know, kind of show you what they expect from you. So I've got in my hands Titleist 620. Forged MB, MB standing for muscle back. It is the straight blade. This is a golf club designed for the best players in the world. It's got a very thin sole. It's got a very thin top line, very appealing. Uh, small compact head, and all of that brings with it a lot of challenge, right? So I'm gonna show you, I put some dots and some circles on these heads to kind of represent where these clubs would expect you to hit it to get the best performance. So. This 7, uh, 620 MB has a very small dot right in the middle of the face. There's the sweet spot. This is where this golf club is going to expect you to hit it all the time. It can be a lot of feedback with this golf club. A lot of negative feedback if you're not hitting it in the center. Best players in the world for sure. 15, 18 handicap, I would probably say let's avoid these. Uh, golf is hard enough without you know trying to work against having the golf club you're playing working against you. Um, beautiful golf club though. I don't think anybody would would, uh, would say much to the contrary. Okay, so the, from the blade, they have also the 620 CB. Now the CB's got just a little bit of cavity in here, right? So a little tiny bit of cavity gives us a little tiny bit of forgiveness. Uh, if I bring this one in and show you where the dot is, guess what? That dot's pretty much the same size as, the, as it was on the MB. This golf club also expects you to hit it right in the center. It's got the same compact sized head. It's got the same thin sole. It's got pretty much the same thin top line as well. Tiny bit more forgiveness on this club, but not a lot. Still very much a player's club. All right, so then we go to the T100. Now, T100 is a replacement for the AP2. Uh, think Jordan Spieth, okay, uh, PGA Tour player. Um, this club's got a little more forgiveness than the than that CB and MB did. A little wider sole on it. Uh, there's a little more cavity to this thing. Blade length got a little tiny bit longer. Top line got a little tiny bit thicker. And the dot actually got a tiny bit bigger, okay? Not a lot, though. So this golf club is not still not really a very forgiving golf club. Uh, I wouldn't put a, an 18 handicapper in this golf club unless it was somebody that said, I really want the look of a blade. Uh, then this would probably be, you know, a, a reasonable uh, option, but they're gonna get a lot of that negative feedback when the ball's not coming off the center. Uh, stepping into the next one though, we're gonna start to see a little bit more forgiveness. So this is the player's distance category. So for uh, Titleist, this is the T200, which is a um, replacement for the AP3. Now, again, we got a little thinner, or sorry, a little bit thicker top uh, sole on this one. Uh, that's gonna provide a little more forgiveness. We have a little bit wider top line, but really that top line's not getting to the point where it starts looking chunky. Uh, blade length's gotten a little bit longer. There's more technology here. So we're starting to see the back of these clubs getting a little bit busier. You can see there's more going on. This has got a little bit more of an undercut cavity. It's gonna help bring the ball flight up a little bit. Weight's gonna be moved more toward the perimeters. That's gonna help make this ball go straighter. So the great thing about the player's distance category is it, it really provides the best of both worlds. Somebody that wants a golf club that still looks clean, doesn't have that chunky top line to it, um, but wants some forgiveness in the mix, this is where things really start to kind of combine. So when I show you the dot here, you're gonna see this dot's actually turned into a circle. This club has a lot more forgiveness to it. Um, you know, anybody that's a, that's a 15 handicapper or less could potentially play something like this. Um, you know, I'm 
a plus handicap and I play a club like this because I like the look, the feel, the sound, and I want that forgiveness. I don't want to have to hit it absolutely dead center all the time. Uh, a number of years ago, TaylorMade came out with a uh, study that said that 74% of all shots hit were not hit in the center of the golf club. Well, guess what? That's a lot, of, a lot of shots hit to the toe and to the heel. Let's get some forgiveness. I mean, golf is hard. We might as well, we might as well make it a little bit easier on ourselves. So there's the start of the, the real forgiveness. All right, next one up is the T300. This is the replacement for the AP1. This is the club I'm gonna put most players into. Um, we've got, a, again, a little thicker sole, a little bigger club head, a little longer blade length. That top line gets a little thicker as well. But look at the circle on this one, right? So this is significantly bigger than what we've seen in, in the past with these. This is a golf club that really, you've got a lot more space to get the best out of it. You're gonna have less negative feedback coming from a golf club like this. Um, everything on this golf club is designed to help you get the ball up in the air. It's gonna help you hit it a little straighter, good perimeter weighting, right? Move, move to the toe and to the heel. Uh, this is what the kind of forgiveness most players are gonna need. So subsequently, this is gonna be the top seller for, for titles. Now, Titleist, unlike some of the other companies, uh, has been a little bit, they've been a little slower to get into that super game improvement, uh, but they came at it full force this year. Uh, and I love this golf club. So if you look at this, this is the T400. So super game improvement. We got a nice thick sole, right? This is gonna help with turf interaction, make that golf club a whole lot more forgiving. With that thicker sole also tends to come a thicker top line so if you really like the if you really don't like the the look of a big top line this is probably not going to be the golf club for you a lot of tech going on with this golf club this is designed to get up in the air and this face is designed to be really really fast it's also got a, it's a bigger club head if we compare these two um, you know the blade length is just a little tiny bit longer you may or may not be able to see it just a little bit longer uh, but all of that goes toward making a golf club that's going to work for you uh, a little bit better. And look at the circle on this thing, right? That is a big old sweet spot, and that's exactly what this is designed to be. So go see a fitter, right? Let's talk about it. Let's see where you are in your current game, where you want to be in your current game, and let's get you into a golf club that's going to help you achieve those goals. You know, uh, somebody comes in and they're, you know, a, 12, 13 handicapper, but they really want to get down and they're going to be have time to play and practice. You know, we can talk about going into something like a like the T200, that player's distance iron. It's still going to give them that forgiveness. It's still going to have that fast face and give you that distance that you want, but it's going to be in a more appealing looking golf club. And as you go down, they are going to be more workable. Is this a workable golf club? Yes, absolutely. This T400, I can hit it right to left. I can hit it left to right gotta know what you're doing in order to do it but it can be worked is this a workable golf club absolutely everything about this is designed for that workability it's just not very forgiving so from the very very most challenging to the very most forgiving to something that falls kind of right in the middle that's this t200 we've got a golf club for absolutely anybody so come see a fitter let's figure out what you need and get you in, moving down the right path all right y'all take care now